Mike Buck here with AK Sledgehead. Uh, I was doing a little experiment today with my saw that I carry in my machine for, uh, you know, cutting willows off of my spindles if I get wrapped up in the brush. And uh, I had two different saws, uh, one on each machine. And I thought, well, let's find out which one is the best. So I have a SOG, S-O-G. You guys have probably seen these around uh, quite a bit. They're really popular item out there. And then I have one that's called a silky saw. And this one has those, I believe it's like laser cut teeth on it. So I went out and did some cuts and found out that this silky saw is at least twice as fast as the SOG. So if you're out there, uh, you might want, you know, looking for a saw, you might want to think about the silky saw. It's a much better quality saw and cuts wood at least twice as fast uh, and you know if you were out there stuck overnight somewhere and you had to actually cut firewood with one of these things um, you would definitely want one that cuts faster and easier uh, the teeth don't tend to get uh, clogged up or bound up as much as the saw with the with the silky saw so you might want to think about that if you're looking for a saw I believe I got this one at REI but they probably sell them lots of different places so anyhow silky saw and this one I believe is about a seven and a half inch uh, blade so um, take a look at those if you're in the market for that so I also carry kind of my survival gear uh, a uh, buck saw and uh, my buddy John Strang said that's a more uh, appropriate name for this saw. And, and, you know, I really like that name better as well because uh, bow saw is just not as cool as buck saw. So anyway, <laughs> I've had this saw for probably 15 years and uh, it really does a great job. I've, uh, you know, had a few overnighters, probably a couple overnighters that weren't really planned. And man, this thing cuts wood way better than the little tiny hand saw does. So uh, you might look into getting one of these. It has a really good quality blade for, for cutting bigger wood. Uh, and then uh, this one is, if you're interested in finding this particular one, it's called a trailblazer. It fits in this nice little pack, super flat, doesn't rattle around. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, it fits in my tunnel bag uh, really well because of the length. And uh, it's really been a great saw. Super lightweight, all aluminum frame on it. And then the mechanism that tightens down the blade does a really good job. So uh, if you're out there in the market for uh, a saw for your survival gear, um, you might want to think about the silky saw and then this trailblazer. Okay, everybody, just some ideas for you for this winter. Hopefully you won't be wound up in the willows too much out there. Have a safe, fun winter. Hey everybody, I thought I should do a postscript because I went on the internet last night and tried to find the Trailblazer uh, saw and I had a difficult time finding it. A couple of places had it that were out of stock. Um, so just get a good quality buck saw that's going to fit in your tunnel bag nicely, not going to rattle around and, and break on you. Uh, but uh, you definitely want to try to have a buck saw uh, in your survival kit because uh, like I say, cutting, cutting wood uh, all night with a, uh, with a folding saw could be really difficult. Thanks, have a great season.